Howdy folks, welcome to episode 15. We're gonna check and see if where, where our passenger wants to go. Because I think what we're gonna do, I was looking at the map and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the Raglor and back. So something like that. So let me see what we have at this place. Our passenger wants to go to Bori. Where is Bori? It's right up here, isn't it? Yeah, it's on the way. Okay, we could probably take our passenger. So we're gonna take our passenger up to Bori because he wants to pay 20,000. We're gonna take these G-Type batteries up to Raglor and then we're gonna pick up what they have there. And so we're gonna go like this and we're going to uh, enter our screen here if it lets us. Wow, it really parked me up way up there. See, even the... <laughs> Even the game itself has trouble parking you on the right spot, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to recharge. We don't need to recharge. We just need to buy the batteries. So we're going to buy those. And then when we're done with that, we're going to put our passenger. Okay. Use caution. All right. And that's changing all the time. So that's not a big deal. And let's go like this. There we go. All right. So we're going to come up here. And I'm glad they added the thing where you can talk to passenger. What is that? This? I think that's open and closed. Yep. Cargo gate is open. All right. And we're going to turn around because we're going to... Oh, the cy what cyclone? There was a cyclone? All right. Yeah, we're going to go like this. Look, my cargo box is over there taunting me. <laughs> All right, let's discuss the route here there we go and yes so he should ju jump in here and then we can go to the other place now when we go there they've got some uh, big heavy stuff that they need right next door so there we go let's do this there we go alright and we should be able to uh, Where's our, where's our, uh, here, there we go, where's Bori, Bori's up this way, alright, so we're gonna go, we're gonna get some forward momentum, there we go, and then we're going to, uh, switch, there we go, to flight mode, airplane mode that is, flight mode, <laughs> I'm going to switch our flight mode to airplane mode. All right, and cool. So it's, it's Thursday when I'm recording this. It'll, this will probably be out on Thursday too. Um, but yeah, I'm, I think there's an update coming up soon, which is kind of cool. So kind of interested to see what that's going to be, what the, up, what the update is going to include. Come on. It's, it's doing that thing on me where it really wants to, uh, really wants to dive and stuff. So I probably want to take it easy on the throttle. I don't want to go too fast through the mountains here. Especially, yeah, as you can see here, we're going to have issues with the mountains. So should we go around this way? Let's go around this way around the mountains. We're going to go this way around the mountains. And yeah, I know, they have to turn this way. <laughs> All right. There we go. Take it easy here. Come on. Go up, up, up. There we go. All right. And now we should be able to turn this way. Let's check for, check for, uh, yeah. There we go. Check for uh, uh, the bad things. Bad things rising in the air. Those. <laughs> the orange badness in front of us is what we need to watch out for. So I think we're going to go, I uh, need to decide. I think we're going to go left here. Yeah, let's go. Whoops, I think we can actually, we can we can work our way through here, can't we? Let's go like this. Come on. Up this way. Don't do that to me. Come on. This way. There we go. And we need to do that. There. Nice. All right. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't have any uh, uh, fragile cargo going on right now all right so we should be able to make it to bory here without a problem 
We can drop off our passenger, make a little bit of dough there, and then uh, and then make our way to Raglor from there. So it should be a quick jump, just a quick hop and a jump from there to Raglor. Okay, we need to avoid that. Really wish those would would be visible from farther away. But let's go like this and make sure that we're. Come on, thank you. <laughs> All right, make sure that we're not. Uh, losing out terrain to loading. I really hope that's something they fix quickly on this. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we we can get more altitude here. Why don't we do that? As long as we're climbing, we can probably drop some of the some of our uh, throttle on that too. Save us a little bit of gas. Nice. Guys are there. All right, let's switch back here. Is that our halfway? That's our halfway on our fuel. Okay, not a big deal. It's easy enough. We're almost at like the point where we can start coasting. And I think we're heading, yeah, we're almost to the ocean too. So we should be good as far as that goes. Yeah, let's do this. Let's, let's trade some of our velocity for altitude here if we can, if it'll let us. There we go. All right. So we can probably drop some of the throttle here. We're at almost, yeah, we've got a nice tailwind here too. So it's really gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting landing. Now we're not gonna make it there on time. If you can see on the bottom right that we've, we're at 10 seconds left until and that's the bonus time that's the basically that's the time that you get the maximum and then uh, that he's gonna pay you and then I think below that or after that point you start losing money for making that there more slowly that kind of thing so you know how that goes because like you know when you get in a taxi you just decide how much you're gonna pay the taxi driver when you get there right that's how that works <laughs> and, it, and if the taxi driver doesn't like it, that's too bad. That's their problem. You just get to choose. Uh, right. <laughs> ah, sure, sure thing. But, you know. Okay, you know, they should, they should account for, like, they should do something to account for, like, uh, you know, you get a cyclone, you get hit by a cyclone, and it's like, that's not my fault. <laughs> All right, I'm getting you there, you know, whether or not uh, with with the bad weather, you know, kind of thing. All right, so I think, wow, that really just did not want to stay level there for some reason and just wanted to dive. Okay, let's do this. And we're going to go like, whoops, not that, like this and this. I want to get there we go now we're gonna have a tailwind on us here so I'm probably gonna want to yeah see we've got a significant tailwind here whoa let's, let's drop our oh you know what it wants it wants us to be facing look at the look at how fast that wind is coming past us all right we're gonna do this we're apparently not going forward the wind isn't really blowing us that much. All right, we do need to be careful as far as um, as far as the tailwind can can kind of lift you up, kind of thing. Or actually, it's kind of the opposite of that. But yeah, the tailwind can kind of dump you over forward, kind of thing. So you do want to be careful coming in with it with your tail to the wind. It's generally not advised, but I'm being lazy here, so we're gonna do it. All right. We're gonna do it this way because I'm lazy and there we go and especially coming in with the wind on your side probably not a good idea either but there we go we can turn here and probably even scooch a little to the side can we scooch a little to the side there we go all right and we can turn that off and yep 
Let's let him out. Is it letting him out? It's letting him out. Yep, there he goes. Okay, so let's see how much he gave us. 9,300? Seriously? <sighs> Alright. He, he was offering like 26,000 and he totally ripped us off. Um, I'm calling the cops, man. <laughs> it's just a ripoff. Alright. Does anybody need the sea cockerel? I think somebody can use that. Let's see. Let's see if anybody... Um, they want that at hard mine quarry and it's okay so nobody wants nobody wants that uh, down where we're going okay so we're gonna do and what about this thing nope they're going the other way too all right so we're just gonna exit out of this I really wish they had more opportunities for the balena to to actually um, to do whoops to do uh, missions with you know, with where you're carrying two different things. It would be really nice, especially if you could just pick up two things. So we're going to set this as our destination just so that we can... Come on. Can you get out of here? Thank you. <laughs> set that as our destination, and we can take off for for that. There we go. Raglor. All right, let's get going. we got tons of... Tons of uh, extra. See, whoa! Tons of extra thrust here. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. Now we're climbing. Now we're in business. Can get some forward. A little bit more forward. The wind makes it look like we're not even moving, doesn't it? Or the lack of wind. There we go. Let's go like this. And see if we can get some. See, we're only 17 kilometers away. We don't even need to do too much as far as speeding up and climbing and all that. We should be able to pretty much do this at about maybe a thousand. Climb up to maybe a thousand, but that's about it. I don't want to. I don't want to get too high up in the air. All right. So yeah, anyway, I think they're they're coming out with they've been they've really been listening to uh, players and stuff like that and and developing based on input player input and stuff like that. So they've been doing a great job of that, and so I'm really looking forward. Every update has has been really cool, um, has been worth you know worth the effort, worth the wait, and all that. So I'm looking forward to whatever they're going to do in the next update, and let's get our Get our landing system set up here as usual. Now this one is going to want us to come in. We're going to come in from the side here. So I could probably stop climbing. It's probably a good idea, right? And let's look all the way down. We'll get some sideways here. There we go. Alright. We can probably back off here. There we go. All right. We get a nice glide slope going. Get it. Our glide slope in the cup holder. That old. <laughs> that whole deal, right? There we go. It's lining up. I love how it's not perfectly smooth. That you know the wind does add chaos to the equation, because that makes you, you know, respond in the moment to what's going on which is pretty much the fun of piloting anything is, you know, not just saying, make me go here and then let in it does, you know, you don't just point at your destination. You got to actually, you know, make corrections and stuff. That's the fun of it. All right. Almost there. 450 meters. There we go. 116. Uh, we're probably going to go into the hangar. We're, I think we should. We should probably go into the hangar and repair after we drop off our our cargo here. And then what we can do is we can um, here we can go into the hangar and repair, and then we can get our new cargo. So let's go like this. As long as we're at a place that has free repairs, we're going to take advantage of it. And 
Let's go like this. There it is. All right, so we're going to sell um, sell the empty G-type batteries. There we go. We're going to sell. And then we're going to end up buying the carbon constructions because they want them there at Big Crater. So we're going to do that. We're going to recharge while this is going. All right, now we can exit. And we're going to go over to the... Now, I'm not positive. I think you might actually be able to do repairs. You know what? You can do repairs while you have stuff, while you have cargo in there. What am I thinking? Here, let's load the cargo. Because otherwise, it's, it's going to put me out facing the wrong way, and I'm going to spend like 20 minutes just turning around. So we're going to buy... What are the structural frames? Structural frames. See, they want them there too, but you can't buy both of them at the same time. So we're going to take the lighter one, because those, that 13 and a half, yeah, see, it doesn't fit in the ship. That's going to be a problem. So we do need to get um, we do need to get bigger bigger uh, thingies for this the cargo additions and all that. All right. So we're gonna go over here and we will repair at the hangar and then we can take off for Canyon. Sent Look, it even sent it even set my uh, my waypoint already. I don't remember purposely doing that. That's really cool. All right, let's go like this. And there we go. Come on, you can do it. Yay. <laughs> all right, and we'll repair the... Um, we're going to repair all of our... the flat. I don't know why the flaps take so much damage, but they do. And they have... Huh. Okay, we're going to repair, and then we're going to look at this stuff. So, that's what we already have. Isn't it? I think. Do a close standard wings. Standard chassis. Standard engines. I can't tell which we have and which. Okay. No, those are the ones that are for sale because those are the oxygen engines. Okay. So we have the chassis, we have the standard engines. And we have the standard wings. Yeah, this only has all the stuff that we already have. Okay. So we're good, we're repaired, we're ready to go. Let's, so let's get out of here and head over to the other place. As soon as it drops me off, we can do it. <laughs> All right, there we, oh wow, it actually drops you off like facing uh, a, an ordinal direction or whatever, <laughs> right? A cardinal direction instead of just kind of skewed. It used to just kind of drop you off on whatever angle, you know, like, eh, whatever, get out of here. Get out of here, kid, you bother me, you know. <laughs> just kind of swat you out of there and drop you at some weird angle. Okay, let's get moving. Come on. Go, go, go. Oh, you know what? I forgot. We do not have, um... I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. I forgot that we've got a 10-ton load on here probably a good idea to um to not uh you know to not try to take off from a low spot but apparently this thing has a lot more power than i expected all right it did it did a good job so where is our ski level we are still we're still very good on the ski level i think we're going to drop some of our throttle because we don't need to waste that much fuel and we'll see what we've got here. Radiation. Okay, so we're going to hit it at about 15, 1600, I think. Whoops, that's not what I was trying to do. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. We're not at the mountains yet? Okay, no, we're not at the mountains yet. All right, because, yeah, I, I, think, I think basically you don't want to go over about 300 meters per second on, um, on the, uh, here, on the, uh, ships now because I think that's why I'm taking it. Does it is it me or does that ceiling make it look like I'm crooked? Because of the way the grid is, it, I'm sure it's an optical illusion. It makes it makes it look like my ship is tilted to the side, doesn't it? Like my ship is tilted like this. Is it just me? All right. And let's see if we can get a little bit closer to the ski level here. Up up a little bit. Just gotta start watching out for the mountains. Yeah, I think I think 300 between 250 and 300 is probably a good cruising speed because you get much um, 
you get much more than that, and you're not going to be able to avoid obstacles without, you know, breaking your cargo, and you're basically wasting fuel and all kinds of stuff like that. And you can't switch back to uh, to VTOL mode in an emergency. Like if you need to, if you need to turn in a hurry, you, you basically the only way to do that is VTOL mode. You can't. This is how fast you can turn. You know. That's as fast as the ship will possibly turn at this at this point. So, yeah, you definitely. Um, that's why you've seen me like slam into mountains in VTOL mode. Because <laughs> I'm trying to. Because I'm trying to get to where I can turn in a hurry. All right, let's see if we've got mountains yet. Nope. That's a whole lot of ocean. I must say, that's not a complaint at all either. Because flying over the mountains is definitely more dangerous. <laughs> As you probably noticed, right? Have, have I crashed? Oh, yeah, I have crashed into the ocean, but that was because I was stupid and hit the switch to airplane mode too early. <laughs> Shh, no, that wasn't me. That was my stunt double. That was that was a uh, that was somebody else's channel you were watching. You just did, you know you just remembering that wrong. <laughs> That's something like that, right? All right, we're almost there. We're 20 kilometers. Where are all these mountains? There's a little mountain range. Okay. I swear, it seems like we went through a million mountains on the way here because we were going to Bori. Okay, and we're probably even going to slow down. I think I'm going to slow down a little bit. Am I seeing... I'm getting Santa Claus again. Can you hear it? All right, a cyclone is approaching. I think we're going to need to do this. I think we're going to need to land. Probably. If a cyclone is approaching. I'm not sure. And I think we're probably going to need to land in order to, uh, to refuel anyway, because we're starting to get low. And look at all these mountains here. Yeah, we're going to have to fly around the mountains. Okay. Or through them, or whatever. Why don't we get... I'm trying to decide whether I want to go through some of this first and then land. I think I think we're better off just landing here and then refueling and then going over the mountains in one shot instead of trying to to do this. It's funny that the Santa thing is still in there. All right, let's go like this and see if we can bring this thing down to a landing. Bring it down to a safe landing. Here we go. And I know we're not on the most level ground, but we should be able to land without doing too much damage. I like how the, um, I like how basically girders are, are fragile. <laughs> carbon, carbon constructions. Come on. Let's do this. There we go. Right there. Beautiful. Ground effect. You can do it, ground effect. Drop a little bit, a little bit. There we go, all right. Shut the engines off. There we go, okay. So we're gonna call the drone. We're gonna call the service drone and then we can wait for the, whatchamacallit. So we're facing that way, we're going to, does it have me, that's why, it has me going to Canyon Central? Why am I going to Canyon Central? Oh, I need it, I need to do that more. Okay, why am I going to Canada? Because they don't need that. Big Crater is where I want to go. Why did it set it to that? It's. I guess that explains why I was going over so much ocean. But now I still need to go over all these mountains in order to get to Big Crater. Okay, let's set our destination. Because that's where our... They need the carbon... Yeah, see, they, they need the carbon stuff. Man... <laughs> All right, and okay. So our ship was recharged. Let's see if we can get to Big Crater. It's 61 kilometers. Yeah, I definitely we're glad we landed, huh? All right, let's do this and this, and let's see what we can do as far as getting over these mountains. There we go. Beautiful. Get a little bit of forward, not too much. 
because we're going to need to go around all these mountains and everything. Let's see what we've got here. Now we can start going forward a little bit. So we're getting our our vertical, getting our altitude here. Are we going to be able to? Yeah, we'll go. We can be. We we will be able to go over these mountains. I don't know when and where this cyclone is going to hit. If it if it is or what, or if this these greens are the cyclone or what. But let's see if we can. Yeah, we can still see here. Okay. We're good. We're probably going to need to, um, there. We're probably going to need to uh, switch to airplane mode, I don't know, at some point here. Where is our destination? Is over this way? Okay. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to, we're going to try to get, yeah, we'll try to get to a, a little bit more open area before we switch to airplane mode because I don't want to drop altitude right into these mountains in front of us. So let's try doing this. See, we're going to drop altitude when we start going forward. So go like this. And now we can go. There we go. All right. And now we can... Turn over this way. There we go. We need to drop some velocity here too. And we should be able to turn over this way. Much better. Much better. It's gonna be a long day if we if we lose our uh, ski level ceiling here. I can tell you that much. If we if we can't stay up at the Whoops, if we can't stay up by the... Come on. Come on, no, 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 no. don't do that. It scares me. <laughs> it pauses like that when you switch modes. There we go. Yeah. We've got geysers in front of us too, I'll bet. Let's see what we can do as far as... But yeah, it is going to be a long day if... <laughs> if the ski level comes down and we have to fly around the mountains to get through here. We're going to have to stop for fuel again if that's the case and we might even have issues getting over this mountain let's see what we can do here as far as as far as fuel economy goes it looks like it looks like we'll be okay on that yeah need to go around that go around those and around that mountain over the mountain Oh man, I don't even want to know how close I was to hitting that mountain. I do not want to know how close I was to hitting that mountain. Uh, okay, let's go like this. Come on, let's, let's, yeah, let's not hide the, not play hide the mountains. Alright. Gotta watch out for those two. Alright, so our ski level is... Looks like our yeah we're we're gonna have fuel to make it there okay cool so we're we're gonna run a little bit long today I think but that's okay we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to here, be able to get to our destination so we're gonna run a couple minutes long in order to do that so the the reason I like to stay under thirty minutes is that. Uh, YouTube will not do auto captions on longer videos and so and I've got people who you know are not uh, native English speakers or who have you know hearing various hearing impairments and you know it's it's not nice for people to not have captions so and it would take me forever to to manually caption everything so the auto captions are uh, a nice solution for everybody for the most part they're fairly accurate they're getting more and more accurate every uh, every year okay we are 18 kilometers away 17 we're gonna see how much coast we can get away with for this but I don't want to start like you know crazy dive dive kind of thing so I want to maintain as much altitude as I can, but 
in order to do that, I have to keep the throttle up. All right, I think we're okay. And I think we can leave the other thing off now. All right, we are 10 kilometers out. Let's see how much we can coast here. <sighs> this is going to be probably going to be kind of a close landing, but let's see. 1900? Uh, no, I think I can make it there on 1900. I think we'll be okay. Generally, I, my rule of thumb is I want to have a thousand for final approach. All right, we need to do this because we're like really losing altitude too quickly and we're going to do this whole thing. Let's see if we can, wow, got a lot more excess thrust than we, than I thought. Okay. We're going to do this and we're going to come back a little bit, drop some of this forward. Momentum, there we go. All right. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Come over this way. There we go. Now, I don't know if you guys can see over here, there's on the front of this throttle, there's a paddle. So I'm hitting right and left. And it's, it's a... You know, it's not an on-off. It's not just a right button and a left button. So you can, you can uh, gently, you know. Although on this, on this thing, it's not the gently is not needed with this ship because, yeah, the cyclone has passed. With this, with this ship, it's not needed in this game. Pretty much the um, well, I think I think the beginner ship. You got to be careful on that. But on these ships, the 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 sideways thrust is not very strong it doesn't go very hard to the side and so yeah it's, it's you don't need ridiculous amounts of it. there we go you don't need ridic ridiculous amounts of it to, in order to come on let's get up here you can do it there we go all right okay cool well that's gonna be it for episode 15 we are out of time for today obviously so join me in episode 16 where we're probably going to see if we can get a couple more of these maybe or see what we can do as far as upgrading we're getting some more money so we'll probably have to do one more set of runs before we can upgrade either the engines or the the cargo space but yeah that's gonna be it for episode 15 join me in episode 16 and we'll see you then later